the name of allah who is the most beneficent and the most merciful assalamu alaikum today the topic under discussion is spectrum when light is passed through a prism it undergoes refraction or bending extent of bending depends on the wavelength of the radiation means the uh, radiations of longer wavelength bend to a smaller degree than radiations of a shorter wavelength if we consider ordinary white light then ordinary white light uh, consists of radiations of all wavelengths so it undergoes that type of spectrum which contain all types of wavelengths means uh, this spectrum consists of different colors like violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red so uh, all these uh, uh, wavelengths are uh, these wavelengths range from 400 to 750 nanometer so if, if we write its proper definition then it uh, then we will uh, we will tell about it that a visual display a visual display or dispersion of the components of white light dispersion of the components of white light when it is passed through a prism when it is passed through prism is called as spectrum or we can show it as this is prism when light pass through it then it undergoes dispersion means bending okay certain light is passed through it while other is bended and this bending is depends on the radiation radiations of suitable wavelength means that radiations of longer wavelength will bend to a smaller degree than radiations of a shorter wavelength and if we consider ordinary light then ordinary light consist of consist of radiations of all wavelengths radiations of all wavelengths wavelength is denoted by lambda and this wavelength range from 400 to 750 nanometer and uh it uh, it has different colors which are denoted by the term vibgol means violet indigo blue green orange yellow and red so these are different colors which we can uh, see when ordinary light is passed through a prism now come towards is for the explanation uh we are saying here about uh, visible light and in uh, in spite of visible light other types of radiations are also there and these are uv means ultraviolet x rays gamma rays and cosmic rays these are towards lower wavelength on the other side of the visible light ir microwave and radio frequency waves are present 
means they are going towards lower end and they are going towards higher end means higher wavelength wavelength and energy are inversely proportional to each other so if we are saying that uh, they have low wavelength values it means that they have high energy values similarly they have high wavelength so they have low energy values okay these are the regions besides uh, this visible region that undergoes spectrum and uh, the ordinary white light gives spectrum that have all these regions because uh, ordinary white light has radiations of all wavelengths now we will discuss its types basically spectrum has two types it has two types first one is continuous spectrum and second is atomic spectrum and atomic spectrum is also called as line spectrum firstly we will discuss continuous spectrum <coughs> now what is continuous spectrum that type of spectrum in which boundary line is not marked from, uh, is not marked means that uh, color merge into one another or diffuse into one another without any dark space between them so continuous word from continuous word it is also uh, understandable continuous mean without cutting or without any splitting so we can uh, write its proper definition continuous spectrum that spectrum in which boundary line is not marked is not marked and colors diffuse into each other colors diffuse means mix into each other or we can say that one color merge into another color merge also means mix merge into another color without any dark space between them okay it is uh, this continuous spectrum is the is the characteristic of matter in bulk means that that matter or that material which is in bulk quantity means it uh, in large quantity uh, that type of matter gives continuous spectrum okay now second one is atomic or line spectrum now what is atomic or line spectrum as its word indicate that it contains lines so uh, its proper definition is we can write here that when an element or a compound is volatilized 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 means convert into vapor form convert into vapor form uh, or gaseous form so when an element or compound is volatilized on a flame in the emitted light is seen through a spectrometer emitted light means that light which uh, comes out emitted light is seen through a spectrometer spectrometer is a device that uh, that is used to look the spectrum 
through a spectrometer then it consists of distinct lines distinct lines now we will come towards its examples continuous spectrum its uh, most common example is rainbow as uh, all of you have seen that rainbow consists of uh, radiations of all types of wavelengths and uh, that's why it appears colored to us and the light of the uh, light uh, is uh, uh, actually emitted light from the sun which uh, appears on the uh, sky and we see it in different colors so its famous example is rainbow and when we come towards the line spectrum then its example is spectrum of hydrogen or spectrum of sodium sodium or hydrogen sodium uh, spectrum of sodium consists of two yellow uh, lines means that it has only two lines which are of yellow color and which are separated by definite distance between them if we uh, consider the hydrogen spectrum then the hydrogen spectrum consists of a number of lines of uh, different colors and uh, separated by uh, different distances among them and there are a lot of lines in hydrogen spectrum as compared to that in the sodium spectrum and the lines in this spectrum indicate that uh, the characteristic of the element which is volatilized means uh, the uh, specific element which is volatilized or converted into vapor form gives specific number of lines in its spectrum now we'll move towards the types of atomic spectrum now we are discussing types of atomic spectrum it has two types first one is atomic emission spectrum and second one is atomic absorption spectrum as the word indicate emission and absorption difference is there so emission means emit to be emit uh, means uh, when light falls on a certain material or when material is subjected to heat at high temperature or it is subjected to electric discharge then and it emits certain amount of light and that light uh, when we see through a uh, spectrometer it consists of lines uh, lines of which color these are actually bright lines with dark background and uh, when we study atomic uh, absorption spectrum then it means that when an element uh, when a certain amount of radiation falls on a element or on a material then it absorb some of the radiations of different wavelengths while emit the remaining types of uh, radiations and the wavelengths that are uh, absorbed by it appear as dark lines in its spectrum and uh, with bright background so this is difference between them that uh, here in atomic emission spectrum uh, the lines obtained are uh, these are bright colored lines with dark background while in atomic absorption spectrum because absorption occurs that's why uh, lines are of black color and with bright background so if we write its a proper definition then when an element is heated or subjected to electric discharge it emit light of different wavelengths of different wavelengths 
Similarly, here we can write as when radiations fall on a certain material or element or compound, you can write some of the radiations are some of the radiations are absorbed by it are absorbed by it while others are transmitted and this is called as atomic emission spectrum this is called as atomic absorption spectrum and this spectrum consists of bright lines and this spectrum consists of dark lines or you can write black lines and this spectrum consists of dark background while this consists of bright background okay now we will draw its spectrum of both of these element in gaseous state this is subjected to heat it at high temperature then what are we saying that it emit light of different wavelengths means you can show as these are light of uh, different wavelengths that are emitted and these emitted when they pass through detector then detector will detect them detector will detect these radiations and they will appear as bright lines you can see here lines are bright and the background is black these are bright lines and this is dark background similarly if uh, you draw atomic absorption spectrum then what are we saying when radiations fall in a certain material means this is material consists of gaseous substance these are the radiations when it pass through this substance then some of the radiations are absorbed by it while others are transmitted means it will absorb maximum of the radiations are absorbed by it and when these absorbed radiations are detected by a detector then detector gave its spectrum and spectrum consists of black lines or dark lines so these are dark lines and this is bright background okay this is atomic emission spectrum and this is atomic absorption spectrum now um, if we draw conclusion from it then uh, the, the lines appear in both uh, Em uh, atomic emission spectrum and atomic absorption spectrum these lines their wavelengths their position remain same in both of them but 
these lines will be appear as bright lines in atomic emission spectrum and dark lines in atomic absorption spectrum bright lines in atomic emission spectrum because here uh, these uh, uh, because here the light uh, of different uh, because here the light is not absorbed here light is emitted while in atomic absorption spectrum because uh, light is absorbed that's why uh, lines are of black color okay students thank you so much this is all